Hey guys, it's Will here and welcome back to my first 40k battle report in way too long. It's been probably about two months since I've had one out. Various things have been getting in the way, whether it be some uh, recording quality issues or playing Shadespire, because Shadespire is still awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, finally back with a 40k bat rep. Um, I thought as the new Necron Codex has only just come out, and Sam has started an Imperial Knight army, I thought it'd be a good time to do Imperial Knights against Necrons. So uh, yeah, let's jump right into this. It's going to be 2,000 points. Maelstrom of War missions using the chapter approved rules, Necrons versus Knights. Okay, here we go with my Necron list. So this is 2,000 points, and I'll be using the Mefrit Dynasty Dynastic Codes. If you want to know why and why they look like Sortek but are actually Mefrit, then uh, check out my video on which Necron Dynastic code you should use. So starting up with my HQs down here, got my Overlord, he's got a Resurrection Orb and a War Scythe, and he's also rocking the Veil of Darkness, and then I've got a Cryptek with a Staff of Light and a Chronometron. And for troops, two big units of warriors, one of 20, one of 19, because I was a few points short. 10 Immortals with the Tesla Carbines and then in my Elite slot 5 Lich Guard with the Shield and Sword and for my Flyer I've got me old Knight Scythe here, I own two of these wanted to take both but just couldn't squeeze everything I wanted in and I've got 6 Destroyers, not run them yet in this edition but by all accounts they are going to be brutal uh, but they do, you know, they do chock in at 300 points for those 6 and then I've got Wraiths, I've got the old school Wraiths because, well, I'm old. And then uh, five of the um, Tomb Blades with the uh, the twin Tesla, sorry, the twin uh, Gauss weapons on there, the Gauss blasters. So, uh, yeah, a lot of fast moving stuff with a bit of bulk in the middle and some surprising maneuverability with a few sneaky stratagems in the Veil of Darkness. 2,000 points of Necrons. And here's Sam's new knight army debuting on the channel. Uh, gone for a House Lannister colour scheme here. Um, so here we have the Knight Warden with the Gatling Cannon and the, um, what's that, Heavy Stubber and the Missile Launcher on the top. And then this one is the Crusader, I believe. And he's got the, um, what's it called, uh, the Rapid Fire Battle Cannon and the Gatling Cannon. And that's the... Mm, rocket launcher on the top yeah that one's the missile that one's the rocket and then the final one is the old knight paladin this is actually the one from his old iron warriors army but has uh, been moved over into his knight army now and then we've got two of the new arminger war glaives so we've got the uh, thermal spear on there melter gun on the top That's the heavy stubber. sorry that one's the heavy stubber that one's got the melter gun on the top so uh, yeah, this army has only taken him a couple of weeks to put together, um, but uh, yeah, should be interesting to see how this uh, rather heavy force gets on on the battlefield. When I was constructing my list, I was worried I might not have enough anti-tank, um, so I guess that's going to be put to the test today. So for tonight's game, we've rolled up Spearhead Assault for deployment, so uh, long, end, long ends with a pointy bit in the middle, and the mission is Target of Opportunity. So we only get our tactical objectives for one turn. You have a turn to score them, and if you fail, then you fail. Um, so Sam's Knights, pretty spread out, Armagers on the flanks, bulky ones in the middle, Warlord at the back, because he's the least armed but the most vulnerable in terms of giving away Slay the Warlord. I've clustered mostly around sort of the point here, trying to uh, get forward to get that plus one to armour penetration. Knight Scythe is at the back here, and I've just left one unit of warriors back on the Tomb World, because I fear this could get shot down rather easily. But we shall see. At the moment, Sam has plus one to go first, because obviously Knight's finished deploying first. Let's roll with it. I got a one. So, Knight's first turn. Here we go. Not necessarily. I do have a chance to seize the initiative. No, initiative not seized. Here we go with Imperial Knights, turn one. Not a bad opening round for the Knights. His cards were Secure 1, which is down here, Defend 2, and also Psychological Warfare. So uh, some of the units pushed up, some of them stayed a bit further back to uh, line up some better shots. And essentially his whole army opened fire on my Warrior Blob there. 
killed 14 of them and stupidly I went ahead and rolled the dice before thinking I should just spend two command points to stop them running away, pop my res orb next turn and reanimate them but uh, hey I'm uh, still learning Necrons again so you know, oops, uh, that got him first blood. This knight um, Arminger I believe, yes he is within three inches of that so that's scored and he'll get defend two unless I can blow that knight off there next turn. So a pretty good opening hand. He did also shoot the Knight Scythe with um, the Battle Cannon and the uh, Rocket Missile Launcher from the Warden. Crusader. Crusader, sorry, from the Crusader. And put a total of seven wounds on it, so it's down to its second level. Uh, but yeah, now let's see what these Necrons can do. Necron, turn one. Not great cards for Necron turn one. We've got Big Game Hunter, Endless Legion, and Scour the Skies. I'm not going to discard any of them, even though I didn't score any of them, because, well, there would be no point they get discarded anyway. Um, Big Game Hunter was the only one I realistically could do, because I had no reanimates to make, and he's got no flyers. So I pushed up my forces to get them into range, because the knights were trying to engage me from long range. Um, basically just everyone went forward. I considered using my Veil of Darkness, but thought better of it just yet. We'll uh, hit him at the right time. Um, flyer went up, but obviously guys can't disembark just yet, but soon, very soon. Um, a lot of my shooting could have gone into this Knight Arminger, wrecked it and guaranteed me Big Game Hunter. But as the Wraiths had a charge on, I fired a lot beyond it into this Knight and did do a bit of damage. He's got 17 wounds left still though, so there's a way to go. Um, only used one command point to uh, do the extermination protocols on the destroyers because it's really good, but you know it was just it's a knight it's one hell of a tough target to take down and then I kind of fluffed my wound rolls my attacks were pretty good in combat but the wounds with the wraiths only got two and he used a command point to save one of them um, and yeah that's left the knight on just two wounds or the arminger on just two wounds so hopefully I'll pick up big game hunter next turn but in the meantime he's uh, yeah locking me down or I'm locking him down however you want to look at it but uh, yeah that is it for turn one, so nothing scored. He did grab defend two for another couple of points, so he's taken an early lead. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see how we come back from this. The Knights continued their quest to grab objectives this turn. He had secure objective five, so the uh, Crusader over there, won sorry, the Warden over there went over to grab that. And he's got defend four, so the Arminger's come up for that although he may not be there in time to defend it. His other objective was um, Master the Warp, which wasn't going to happen. The um, Arminger over here broke from combat to save himself being pulled apart by the Wraiths. Couldn't do anything else, but it just means I'm going to have to actually dedicate something to take him down next turn, rather than um, have the Wraiths kill him to score me an easy big game hunter. And then pretty much everything that could fired at the destroyers. He just did not want to face them next turn. And to be fair, they took fire from three different knights in the end. But alas, they were gone. He did also target a little bit into the knight scythe, which was already pretty badly damaged. Luckily, <coughs> excuse me, I was able to... Um, Luckily, I was able to uh, use an emergency, um, what's it called? Emergency invasion beam. Sorry, still learning my stratagems to uh, bring these guys in. And so they're there, they're all right. But uh, yeah, I've lost, uh, lost my destroyers, which isn't good. I have one reanimation protocol to make at the start of my turn because he did kill a single immortal, but he, <laughs> with the heavy stubber from the Arminger. Um, but yeah, he's, he's been very clever actually, targeting whole units at a time so I don't get to reanimate. So uh, let's see if I can actually draw some decent cards this turn as we go into Necron turn two. Necron turn two. And I've got some slightly better objectives. Hold the line, defend one and defend two. This is a fresh deck and looks like I haven't shuffled it as much as I'd hoped. So um, holding the line was the Lich Guard, the Cryptek and the Overlord who did my will be done onto the Immortals. Uh, I then moved these guys, just shimmied them around a bit to get onto objective one. And these guys shimmied around objective two while the Wraiths pushed up. 
shot the Arminger from, with this squad but failed to kill it so I had to use a bunch of these guys to finish off the Arminger. About half of them shot the Arminger, about half shot the, these guys but really didn't do a lot other than take the last wound off the Arminger. And over here I put four wounds onto the other Arminger and then the Wraiths charged and this guy didn't realise that he actually gets a heroic intervention because he's the Warlord and thus as a character. Um, so was able to, uh, yeah, charge in, stopped one of my guys from attacking the desired target. He's now down to 11 wounds from 17 but it's still uh, too much, too many and he killed... Oh, sorry, um, Sam's changed his count. He's actually only taken 11, not on 11. Um, yeah, so that's... Uh, and then he stomped out three of my wraiths. So generally, things are, are not going well here. But I have been able to grab towards some of my target objectives, but whether that will change or not next turn remains to be seen. He was able to score Defend 4 as well, so he's kind of running away with it on points at the moment. Pretty good objectives for Sam again this turn. He did have Witch Hunter, which was kind of meh, but he had Defend 5, which is... Oh, sorry, Secure 5, which is over here, and Defend 1, which I was also holding the Defend of, so uh, yeah, that gave him an opportunity to deny me and to score the objective himself, which, as you can see, he did. He pulled the Paladin out of combat with the Wraiths and had him stomp down here and stomp out um, four of the Tomb Blades. That one needs to make a leadership, actually. Yep, he's fine. He'll get to reanimate his mates. Over here, um, this knight also stepped out of combat, and both of these ones fired at the wraiths, wiping them out. Oh, sorry, leaving one alive. The Arminger and this guy attempted the charge. Arminger failed. This knight got in, killed the last of my wraiths. He's played that really well, focusing one unit at a time and stomp them out so I don't get to reanimate. I've barely made a reanimation protocol all game. It's uh, It's been brutal. So he did score some more points, but I got the defend two there. So uh, yeah, got some points, but not anything like what he's getting. He got defend five and he's probably going to score that because I don't see how I'm going to take this down in one turn. As I feared, my list just doesn't have enough anti-tank, and Sam knows what he's doing. Slightly better objectives this turn. Secure 2 and 1, which are over here, and also Area Denial. To guarantee myself Area Denial, moved the Immortals up to shoot the Arminger that was there. As you can see, it was. He took about half his wounds off with the Immortals, and then finished him off with um, the majority of this warrior squad. Everyone that was within 12 fired and that was enough to take him out. The rest of the warriors that weren't within 12 of the Arminger shot the Crusader, as did the Tomb Blade that had escaped combat with this knight, and he is down to 12 wounds, so he's just about degrading. So I've got two, two points there, Objective 2 and Area Denial, but I still think it's going to be a little bit too little too late. Going into the fourth turn, I've had to switch to voiceover because it was so loud in here, you can't actually hear the original. Sam's objectives were two, three and four this turn, all of which he was able to park knights next to. So objective three was grabbed by the Crusader and number two was attempted to be contested by the Paladin. Uh, but despite firing everything at those warriors, it didn't quite wipe them out. And then the Paladin failed its charge. Um, I did have to burn two command points to keep the warriors there, but at least there's still a squad there and it's denying him objective two. The Warden grabbed Objective 4 over on the other side and unloaded into the Immortals, killing all of them bar one, who then failed his morale. But at least one of the Tomb Blades is still alive, so I'll actually get to make some reanimation protocols this turn. Be nice to actually pass one for a change. Going into the fourth turn, my objectives were Secure 3, Defend 4, and Master the Warp. Now, obviously, Master the Warp's not happening because it's Necrons, we just don't do that. Uh, but I was able to push up to uh, try and defend four with the Lich Guard, who are my last sort of surviving completely intact unit. Warriors had a good reanimate, got eight of them back, but getting to objective three wasn't going to happen because there's a Knight Crusader in the way. So we stood there and just took some shots at it, and thanks to Mefrit Dynasty, was able to take a decent number of wounds off. He's degraded, but these knights are still too much of a threat and I'm horribly outgunned and facing almost certain annihilation this turn. 
as I feared, this turn was my final downfall. The Knight Warden shot for my Lich Guard and had a really good round of shooting and I failed to roll many saves and he was able to wipe them out and obviously force me off Objective 4, which I was having as a defend. And then over here, the Crusader and the Paladin ganged up on my Warriors. The Crusader killed a good number of the Warriors. The Paladin killed off the last Tomb Blade and then they assaulted the surviving Warriors to cut them down. So that leaves me with just my Overlord and my Cryptek on the board and 15 points to 5 down on the score. So uh, yeah, that is a solid victory to the Knights. Well done to Sam on a great victory. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in a minute for the post game. So there we go, a really solid victory for Sam there, 15 to 5, and basically massacred me. You know, if that had gone another turn, I'd have been wiped out completely. So uh, yeah, nice one, mate. Um, he played really well, particularly the early turns of isolating particular units, wiping them out so they didn't get a chance to reanimate, which really sort of screwed one of Necron's biggest strengths, is their resilience, their reanimation, and he was able to play around that. Um, I think my list didn't have enough anti-tank, but that was sort of uh, somewhat representative of my collection. And uh, yeah, well, obviously knights are quite a different prospect to most armies, being as they have no infantry. Um, so definitely want to try the Necrons against a few other opponents. Um, I made a few big mistakes. I think I left my destroyers a little bit too exposed and my Lich Guard not contributing enough. Um, I should have... Uh, played them more aggressively or left them at home in favour of a shooting unit because uh, yeah they're, they're not bad but they need to be in the right place and stuck sort of wandering around on foot wasn't gonna uh, mean they contribute anything um, and yeah should have burnt two command points uh, to save that warrior squad at the start because with reanimation protocol particularly as they were near a resurrection orb and a cryptic um, that could have got me a lot of models back. So uh, yeah, uh, somewhat of a learning experience for me. And uh, yeah, Sam's Knights did really well. So uh, wouldn't be surprised if you see more of them on the channel. Um, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the battle and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.